Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you out of the Saints playbook. I haven't put out any plays from the Saints, my favorite playbook in the game, uh, pretty much every year. I haven't put out nothing uh, for them this year. So I'm going to give you guys a scheme out of the uh, the single back wing stack. Uh, before I get into the video, though, I just want to let you guys know that for people that have been asking about the ebooks, uh, they're either rolling out tonight or tomorrow. So I'll give you guys an update in the morning on my Saturday video. Uh, but ultimately, they're just about done. So the Saints and the Saints are going to be the first one every year. They're the first one that I roll out. That's why I'm giving you guys this scheme. Uh, it's mostly a passing scheme, but there's some really good run plays, uh, including the stretch and uh, the where's it out here? The halfback zone week. Those are the two best run plays. I'll show them later in the video. Uh, but I'm going to start off with some pass plays. This is an explosive passing scheme uh, for the most part. I mean, honestly, I might not even have time for the running plays. That might just be on my Patreon. But it is what it is. So we're going to start off uh, with my favorite pass play which is the spot stick before I get into the video though if you guys could help me out go down a little bit hit the like button like shares comments all that stuff really help this channel out help out my videos uh, I'm trying to help you out as best I can so do me a favor help me out back other than that if you like what you see do me a favor hit the subscribe button and stick around so let's play right here against cover three all you really got to do is uh, streak the A route. I don't really have, I don't think I have the right speed guy here, but that's fine. So we're just going to go, we're going to motion him out. Uh, and then the B route here, Michael Thomas is going to get enough separation that he's going right up the scene. Now, some of the plays I'm going to show you later in the scheme are, are cover three beaters where they cross the defense. Now you have to be, you can't be like short side. You have to run this more to the open side. You don't have to be like all the way over, but you have to be somewhat to the right of the center of the field for this to work like this. It's just the way that the uh, the game is programmed. So we're going to do this two different ways. We're also going to have the ability to motion out uh, Cook here. I'm only doing that because pre-snap, it, mo it moves at safety. That's all I really care about is him being out of the middle of the field because he's the one that's really going to be the biggest chance of, being, of giving this play a problem. So you can see right there, the cornerback bites one more time. I'm going to go to the replay just to show you guys. i got to accentuate this because I put out a play earlier in the year and people weren't realizing that you really have to wait for this cornerback here who he will he'll drop back. You see right here, he's, he's running back. If you throw it here, it's a pick city. But if you wait for him to turn off and take try to take away this outside route, you can see here he's like doing like an S. <laughs> he's doing like an S in coverage. Then you can see he's gone. I actually probably should have waited a little bit longer because he'll he'll get all the way out here. He almost had time to recover. Like if he's fast enough, you can see there's a little bit of a of a chance for recovery. But for the most part, you just have to wait till he turns and then bullet and pass lead away, and you're hitting home run touchdowns really easily in this formation. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to run a second version out of this as well. This is something you could do against pretty much any one of these, but I'm going to run it against Tampa 2. This is also a very good Tampa 2 play. All you're going to do, exact same setup, all you're going to do is uh, drag the A route this time. Well, I'm trying to drag it, it's not working. So what am I not doing here? So yeah, the game was just gl like glitching out. So basically, I just I just dragged the A button there, got the RB route on the streak, blocked the running back pretty much every time. And this is going to be a big play against cover two now, uh, just as long as we, I mean, we can one play this as well, but this is going to be a scenario where you definitely want to run this to the open side of the field. This is something where I could easily run out of space um, because of the, uh, I mean, you can, the, the tight ends, you can really streak or drag whichever one you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm choosing A because he gets across the field faster and he's going to pull that corner back down now this is not even a cover two this is a cover three you can see it has the exact same effect so you could really if you're not reading the coverage properly you could really run it this way the whole time so you could like i said you could run it like this every time um, and just you know basically maximize this look i mean it, it, you can see as long as you're running it to the open side of the field you're gonna have success either way the x route that's beating this cover two is also going to beat uh, cover four so that's something to keep in mind cover four cornerbacks don't typically cover out this far as you can see right there We get an easy one play touchdown. So cover three cover four or cover three cover two You got one play touchdown. You just have to pick the right route against cover three It's going to be the B route against cover two. It's going to be the X route So now we got a cover four look this is another uh, play where this X route is going to beat outside because these cornerbacks just don't cover so you just you just have to wait till it gets to the boundary and uh, bullet and pass lead outside i'll do that one more time you don't even have to make any adjustments these x routes they just they do these these corner routes just do a good job that's a much better look of what it's going to look like ozzy uh, doesn't catch it because i got a stupid animation uh which you know that's typical of madden so here we go one more time 
Like I said, don't no adjustments really needed. Like I said, just need a little bit a uh, little bit of a bullet and a pass lead, and we're gonna get that outside of cover four. So that's definitely my favorite play. I'll show you guys another pass play here, another explosive uh, one play touchdown out of this formation. Then I'll show the run plays, and that's probably gonna be the end of the video. Uh, the PA fork, this is something that I used to use as a man cover beater. Uh, although now it's really more of a cover three, cover four beater. So against cover four, all you have to do is motion this guy out here. Everything else is going to work to your advantage and you're going to have a really big play. Now the only thing that I really should have changed, uh, other than, I mean, the, the pass is going to be very important. You have, to, you have to basically bullet pass lead away from this free safety. I'll go to the replay to watch that again too. You can block the running back too. That's not something that's really um, critical to the play. The RB route though is, as you can see, he's going to pull that safety just a little, just the littlest bit, make him hesitate, and that's part of the reason that we're getting over the top so easily. So cover four, this is really a design play. This is also a good cover three one play touchdown, but obviously the first play I showed you it's a little bit faster because this is a play where the where the guy has to cross the center of the field. Um, so I don't find it's necessarily best. You also have an extra blitzer typically when, when you have cover three plays uh, because that's just the way the cover threes are. But uh, once again, if you can buy that time, you're just waiting for him to cross the center of the field once again. So if you come out, you're expecting to cover four, he's in a cover three, it'll work. But the first play is going to be much better because how much faster it is. So the rest of these passing plays will be on my Patreon or on my community tab uh, from the join now button here. Uh, but as far as the run plays go, um, we have some really good run plays out of this as well. My favorite bread and butter run play is definitely the halfback zone week. We'll just put them all in the audibles. Um, as you can see, the zone week is already there, so I don't know why I did that. But ultimately, we'll put the stretch in there. And then we're also going to put the uh, the last one's going to be the, the jet sweep. So for my money, the uh, the halfback zone week is probably the best of the of the bread and butter plays that I would run the most in game. I, I hit him, hit my opponent with these nine times out of ten. Uh, the other plays are really when I'm look, trying to look for a big play, trying to look for a home run play. Uh, but ultimately, I'm hitting this uh, hitting this zone week over and over. It's very consistent. Uh, you can see it creates a sp uh, creates a lane either right there. Or a lot of times, you just have to run it outside to the left behind the receivers and you're going to have a lot of success. Now, the other plays, like I said, they're a little bit bigger. Um, if you have, like, the, the stretch here, if you have a, uh, a zone play, motioning over one of these tight ends to give yourself a blocking advantage is going to be key. Uh, if it's a man play, uh, you don't want to do that. If it's a man play, there won't be a cornerback on the right side, so you typically just want to just leave it as is uh, and, and just go to the to the open side of the field as I actually ran out of running room there. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, here we have what looks like maybe a cover three. If it's a cover three, hit him with that stretch. Uh, if I motion this guy out, if it is a cover three, he'll back off, which is perfect. So now I have a huge blocking advantage to that to that side because I got a tight end blocking a cornerback, although he really didn't do a very good job. He just kind of like hit him and they, he didn't hold it at all. But you can see there's advantages to be had there. This looks like it might be a cover three again. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Uh, see, like I said, the cover three cornerback backs off which gives me even more space to this side. Uh, there, I mean, I probably shorted that, but you see, I mean, there was a lane. So, very consistent run plays. Those are two of the more consistent right there. Uh, and they're very, uh, very consistent. You can run that all game, that combination of plays. I also like to hit the jet sweep. As long as it's not a cover two, the jet sweep is typically going to have uh, some good success. And right there, we got a great block. I don't Where was that blocking? Where was that blocking previously from Jared Cook? <laughs> he made a great play there. He blocked two guys there. So, like I said, I like to throw that in. But it's definitely not something, I mean, I just like to throw that in because honestly, jet sweeps are fun to run and they keep your opponent guessing. But ultimately, nine times out of ten, I'm hitting them with this inside zone. It's actually doing a pretty pretty bad job uh, on the last run. But I'm going to end the video there uh, because, like I said, this is, this is I'm going to save the rest of the plays uh, for my Patreon and for my join section. So that's it. That's the vid. Five play scheme, running and passing. In my opinion, one of the bread and butters of my offense, uh, typically, whatever, you know, whatever game I'm playing. Uh, very, very successful. So if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Saints, let me know in the comments section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.